Hey guys, here we are at 811 Pioneer Avenue in Gillette. Um, to give you a, sh a view of the street and your surrounding area right here and all your neighbors, it's a very nice subdivision called Westover Subdivision in Gillette, one of the nicest. The houses do go up in value from here the further you go up the hill. I actually just sold that house. Um, I know a lot of people who live in this neighborhood. It's a great neighborhood for kids. Golf course in the neighborhood as well. So that's nice. Give you this front yard is beautiful. You do have a little bit more yard over here as well. I'll show you. And you have a gate on this side of the house as well. So I'll kind of let you see. Sorry. I'll give you a view from this angle. Just what you have over there. You know, of course, that fence is yours. And there's a gate over there on that fence. Let you see kind of the siding and everything over here. Looks to be in good shape. Looks like you could use um, definitely some um, paint on the trim. So you can see like up there a little bit and over here. From what I can tell. All right. There we go. You do have parking over here, extra parking, quite a bit of it basketball hoop then you've got some extra parking back here as well side entrance to your garage that basketball hoop is concreted in the ground and you'd have you know you can see this truck fits in here with a lot of room over there as well there's a gate that goes to the backyard showing you the siding a little bit this side has faded it looks like the siding a little bit more than perhaps the front garage door looks to be in good shape the concrete out front all looks to be in good shape from what I can see. Got some pebble stone steps coming up to a wood deck that's got the Trex type painting. As you can see, it's kind of peeling right there. Um, really helps for traction and whatnot, uh, but you do have to keep up with it. Very beautiful deck. I love this. This swing over here. It's a covered area. It looks all nice and painted in here. Got a nice view. Gotta show you from this side what it looks like too. Very pretty, very spacious. I love decks like this. All right, I'm gonna go on ahead and go inside. Show you that pretty front door. Okay, take off my shoes real quick. Okay, so right as I come in, as you can see, I have my living room off to my left. Nice and spacious. They took out the popcorn ceilings and stuff like that. That's just textured ceilings in here. There's your coat closet, hallway to your kitchen, dining room, and other living room, and then your stairs going upstairs to my left. Or excuse me, my right. Can't tell directions today. Got this little building right here. Um, it's not actually attached, so I think they'd take that, but just showing you how they're using this space. And then this living room, very good size living room. Kind of zoom out for you guys so you can see roundabout way. Let me see if I can clean that screen for you at all. It's a little glary, not that it's just gonna be that way. So there's your view from over here. They've got some nice taller, I'll show you right here, wood trim going throughout as well. And then they've got it painted in here in the dining room. So here's your formal dining room. It does switch from carpet to this looks like almost like a vinyl these vinyl planks in here. Maybe a linoleum plank. You can see in some areas, not very much. It's kind of hard to tell. But in some areas, you can see that that's kind of starting to come up just a little bit. You have this exit out into your backyard. And I will take you out here in just a second at the end once I grab my shoes. This is a good size room, though. 
nice chandelier up top. Then coming into your kitchen, kind of show you around it real quick and then I'll zoom in so that it's clear. It's a good size kitchen, lots of cabinets and lots of pantry space. Same flooring, it is a step up coming into here. Oh no, it's actually a little different. Same type of flooring, but as you can see, those are, it's actually the same size of planks, but it makes it look like smaller strips of wood. Whereas this looks like it's bigger strips of wood. Planks of wood, I should say. Showing you into this living room. Beautiful living room. We'll go over there here in a second. And that's your second exit to that big back deck. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There you go. So you can actually take a look at this flooring. Type of cabinets do look like they've all been painted over time. Got a nice gas range stove right here. And their microwave, since they've got that range hood above it, their microwave is over here. Fridge doesn't match as far as the appliances, and then but it does match the dishwasher. It's a Kenmore dishwasher. These bays are actually they're 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 good sized bays. They're not the biggest, but not too bad. And then a nice window right here to see out into your backyard. Lazy Susan, and then probably the best part over here is these giant pantries. There's one. They both do have lights in them. This one's just not on. This light actually runs off of a switch. You've got nice French doors kind of opening up to a nice giant pantry. Lots of storage right there. I'm gonna close these doors so when I turn around, you can see your kitchen. Okay. So coming back through over here, I'm gonna zoom back in so you can see. They have their table in here, but I mean, this would just be absolutely open space. It'd be clean cut through here and you can put your table in your actual dining room. I don't know why they're not using that or if they just sold their table there. This is a door to the downstairs, which we will go into just a second. And then over here, you do have a couple lights that aren't on. You've got recessed lighting in here too. This is just the natural light. Show you in that recess lighting. Come over and show you this fireplace. It's beautiful. I love the white wall behind it. That accents very, very well. You can tell they did just paint that. Wouldn't need to be kind of touched up over time. I'm gonna give you an angle from your backyard from over here. Oh, you might not be able to see it well through that screen actually. We'll come back out. There you go. There you go. Let it focus. Here's your garage. I can get the door open. Very tall garage. You do have a light on in here. I wish there was a little bit more. I could open that, but you guys can see it. So you've got stairs. I'm going to come out. Okay, so dropping down in here, you've got stairs going down, and then to your left, you've got stairs coming up into all this overhead storage, which is very nice. Coming down in here, I'm going to try and show it to you from this back side, so you can see how high that ceiling is compared to the door. You have a big workbench area over here. There you go. That door going outside, you've got some work um, cabinets kind of back there, and then they've got some deep freezers over here. Still room right here to put a very good-sized vehicle. If you had that 
if you had that bike out of the way and some of the other stuff, you'd be able to swing in two vehicles. This is a very good size, oversized garage. As far as being attached, you can just see how high it is with all that stuff in here. Now I'm gonna zoom back in so you can get a better picture of all this. Very good size garage. They've got it loaded. And I'll show you again. These stairs coming up. And going over into all the rest of that. Okay. So we will go downstairs real quick. You do have a little bit of a sunken living room. I mean, not much at all. Looks like they may have put this flooring in the kitchen over some flooring and just has a lip up. Not bad, but something I like to point out. No problem with that at all. We'll come back over here this way after we go downstairs. Okay, so a very wide staircase, nice carpet. Um, love the entrance to this downstairs. The house smells clean, very well taken care of. So you can go over here to your family area, or you can turn right around as you go down the stairs. Here's the guest bathroom down here. Got some tile coming in. Coming up to a shower tub insert. Looks to be in good shape and clean. You have your laundry and utility room right here. Behind this door is just an extra entrance to your furnace. Let's see if I can. It roll, it's just missing its roller up here. So that's why it's kind of hard to open. So here's your furnace in here. And then if you walk in this room, you get access to the rest of it as well as your laundry room. And they've got some built-in shelving and hangers in here that really help out as far as giving storage and room for laundry. All your utilities. Got another light back there and quite a bit of room in here too, which is nice when you have to switch out any of those utilities. So lots of storage in here as well. Got a couple LG sets, side loaders. And then here is your downstairs bedroom. It has two windows in it. It is a great size. It just does not have a closet in it. And so that's the only thing that's keeping you from being fully conformed to a bedroom down here. So as you can see, that's what he's using. You have plenty of room. If you wanted to put in a side closet, I'd almost do it over here since your windows are over there. But you've got plenty of room in this bedroom and it is a very good size room. under the stair storage in there they've got quite a bit of stuff but that actually does go a long ways they've got clothes hanging up and utilizing it to its fullest okay so once you come over here you go down a hallway into your great big living room down here it's a very good size so i don't have both the lights on i wish i oh there we go that'll help us out Oh, it's over here. Let me get this light on for us. So as you can see, once I turn around, this side over here has a sink already over there, a wet sink. So while you've got water plumbed over there, it can make it a nice back bar, kitchen area, anything like that if you needed to. Got It has quite a bit of lighting and then some um, nice windows down here as well. So pretty nice. You've got some extra space back here Let's see what's in here games stuff so got some cabinets down below and then some cabinets up top as well and 
nice room down here. So I want to show you on both sides of these stairs there. I mean, they're nice and wide stairs. As you can see, it's much wider than the door. Um, they're not that they're not too big, but that's my foot's about an eight, um, a seven and a half, eight. And my foot fits on it. I just feel like as far as the landing, it's a little short compared to some stairs, especially for, you know, guys with those big feet. Of course, probably not a deal breaker for you guys, but just like to let you know what I noticed walking through the home. Okay, let's go upstairs and then I'll take you outside. Here's this guest bathroom right here, just a little half bath. Nice tile going through. Beautiful, like lightish, lightish gray kind of blue color. Nice fixtures, nice vanity. Very nice little bathroom. The only place that it looks like the trim is brown is in here as you can see over there and they've got it painted throughout the rest of the home to be white another wide staircase you can see their pretty banister oh and it looks like up here too so up here not all over is the trim painted but it looks like in some areas this master bedroom it is so they've been doing it over time so there's your bathroom off of your master. This is a very big, nice room, very comparable to what was downstairs. There's a better view for you. Nice room, smells clean. Show you your view. You're just right above your garage over here and your master. Oh, it looks like they do have the popcorn ceilings upstairs still. Coming into your bathroom, I'm going to keep this zoomed out a little bit so you can see. So you've got your sink over here and you've got more room as well over there. And you've got two closets. I left these open so you could see. Good size closet. I mean, that one goes a ways each way. Very good size closets. These doors have to close together and then they, oops, I had kind of need two hands to do it. There we go. They close together nice and tight, but they just have to close at the same time. Another very good size closet. Over here, got your toilet, a linen closet, and then your shower. You've got a tub and tile surround. It's not going all the way up to the ceiling. It is a jetted tub as well. You got some looks like little newer laminate roll out in here. And then a very good size linen closet. So you can see all these doors were all just like the normal wood, not the heavy, heavy ones, but um, they were painted, which is very common as well. But I'm going to kind of zoom back in for you right there. That way you can see the quality of this. We've got a little build-in medicine cabinet. I'm gonna come back out so you can see a little better. Great size linen closet right there. Leading over to the guest bathroom. Pretty good size. I don't know if you can kind of see your backyard from there. go right across the hallway to this room. It's a good size. Probably looks a little bigger right now because I'm zoomed in. But it's a good size still. still. Very good for a spare bedroom. 
There we go. Carpet looks to be in good shape throughout here. Well, good size walk-in closet. Got a light up there. Then right over here is your other guest bedroom. Got some blue carpet. It's not the shag, but it's a little older, but in good shape. This room is a little bigger than the last one. It's a very good size. Pretty big closet as well. And here's your last one. Again, not the oldest carpet. I mean, you'd think it'd be probably from like, I don't know, it's probably like 10, 15 years old, but it's in great shape. I'm going to show you this real quick and then I'll zoom in. Huge closet right there. Just great size guest bedrooms. Like usually you see a couple good size ones and then a tiny little one for an office. But these are great size. There's that carpet for you. Like I mean, it's in great shape, especially to be in kids' rooms. Nothing you'd have to change out unless you really just can't stand that color. So I'm going to bring you back through the house, grab my shoes, and take you out in the back. I think that should be it. backyard looks gorgeous haven't gotten to step back here just yet okay so I'm gonna try and not zoom you out so you can have the best picture here so it's big old dog run right down here a lot of wood stocked up for that wood stove you can always ask for that in the contract turning around this deck is just ginormous I mean it's a very good sized deck it is the actual Trex decking so maintenance free. Yeah, from what I'm trying to make sure. Yep, for sure. Um, the house, the paint on it has faded a little bit, but I mean not bad. Not bad at all. It still looks it still looks good. It's just faded a little bit. There's little spots that need some paint touched up on them and whatnot. Um, but coming back around here. Beautiful backyard. Nice big plywood playhouse. If I, there you go. Beautiful trees. It is slanting downhill a little bit down as you go that way. Not bad as you can tell, but it's just a little bit, which is great for drainage. Got a little bit of room over here. It looks like this dog run does go underneath this deck. Show you the back of the house. It is a beautiful home. Located in a great place. Might need some touch-ups here and there, but they all do. There's that dog run going underneath the house as well. So you can see it's got the wood bottom to the deck and then just the Trex decking up top. Got a pretty, pretty view over there. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions on this one and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.